According to the group Building Hope in the City, there are more than 900 Afghan refugees in Northeast Ohio hoping to work their way toward a green card and eventual U.S. citizenship. However, many of those Afghan refugees and their families are facing an uncertain future as they try to navigate a complex system with only a year remaining for them to become permanent residents. Five on your side, investigator Joe Paganakis with us live tonight. Joe, these Afghan refugees who assisted the U.S. government, by the way, are hoping for passage of the Afghan Adjustment Act that would streamline their path toward being able to stay in this country. Robin Courtney, that's exactly right. But according to local agencies, this measure has suffered a number of delays on Capitol Hill. Meanwhile, the clock is ticking for hundreds of local Afghan families and their children who may be faced with being sent back to a war zone. The Afghanistan is not safe. Zura Sadat, her husband, and their three young sons are wondering if they'll be forced to go back to war-torn Afghanistan by next September. The family, like 76,000 other Afghans, forced to flee their country to the U.S. last August after supporting the U.S. mission in Afghanistan. But now, the complex and costly path toward their green card may cause them to run out of time and hope. I am really afraid to uh, back, go back in Afghanistan. I'm not uh, safe in Afghanistan. My children is not safe in Afghanistan. They had to leave everything behind. They had to leave their car behind to get to this airport, to get on this plane. Eileen right. Wilson, director of Refugee Ministries for Cleveland's Building Hope in the City, says the path to becoming a permanent U.S. resident has been jeopardized by government red tape for hundreds of Northeast Ohio refugees. But Wilson says eliminating the delays and moving forward with passage of of the Afghan Adjustment Act in Washington will significantly expedite the process, helping refugees like Zura, who risked her life, her uncle killed by the Taliban, because she was working with USAID to help Afghan women establish farms in her country. This journey has just been um, wrought with both fear and trauma for the people. And all they did wrong was help the U.S. military. News 5 contacted both Ohio Senators Rob Portman and Sherrod Brown about the future passage of the bipartisan Afghan Adjustment Act in the coming months. Senator Brown issued a statement saying, quote, we have a moral obligation to help Afghans who assisted us and our allies. I'll continue to do everything I can to make sure Afghan refugees have the best chance of starting and continuing their new lives. Meanwhile, Wilson says the measure must be voted on as soon as possible. That similar legislation is also needed to ensure some Ukrainian refugees now coming to Northeast Ohio don't face a similar uncertain future. We need to stop looking at uh, politics, to stop looking at this like their numbers. And Senator Portman's office responded immediately to News 5, telling us the Afghan Adjustment Act is being handled by the Homeland Security and Government Affairs Committee. But, Courtney, we're still waiting for an official statement from Senator Portman. You know we'll follow up as to if and when this measure will finally be voted on. All right, Joe Pakanakis, we know you'll stay on that. Thank you so much.